Okay, this is the rocket launch problem. What we're gonna do here is we are going to take a rocket and we're going to launch it from a launch pad. That means at rest, upward. And it is going to accelerate upward at some rate that is not constant. So acceleration is gonna be given by a function of some constant multiplied by time. Our goal is to determine how high and how fast this rocket's going to be traveling at any point in time later. So we're going to come up with expressions for both of those. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the definition of acceleration. Remember, acceleration is dv over dt. That is to say, if we take and we integrate this function, we're going to get velocity, or to put it another way, the rate of change in velocity over change in time is going to be acceleration. So we're just going to go through and integrate our function here with respect to time. That's our variable we're integrating with respect to. It's not like math where you're always integrating with respect to x or y. So here, I'm going to have dv over dt is equal to a t. So I want to take and integrate this function to get v. So the integral of at, I'm taking the definite integral here. So velocity is going to be one half at squared plus c. In a lot of math classes, it's okay to just leave the c this way, but this is physics, and so we need to think about what this c actually means. This c is the initial velocity, and remember, a rocket started at rest, so the initial velocity is zero. So this term is the velocity of a rocket as a function of time. Now we're going to do the same exact thing to get to position. We're going to look at the relationship between velocity and position versus time. And again, if we look at this, we have a change in position over change in time. That's how we define velocity. So we are again going to integrate, this time, our velocity function to get to position. So our position as a function of time is going to be the integral of one half at squared. We don't need to put in plus zero. It's not going to be a relevant term. So our position as a function of time, just using the chain rule, we're going to have one third times one half at cubed plus c. Now again, we're trying to get to the height of this rocket. If the rocket starts on the ground, the height is zero. So our initial term here again is going to be zero. So our height as a function of time is simply going to be this term. We'll combine these two fractions. We've got one-sixth at cubed.